What's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback for the Houston Texans and New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. All right, so I got a clip. I'm, I'm going to show you two clips, possibly. Uh, I got some young fellas, one of the best high schools in Virginia right here. Uh, he's a cornerback, starting cornerback for uh, Manchester High School. Uh, one of my young fellas, uh, and he's doing a great job. He, he really focuses on... Uh, improving his technique um one of the things about young fella that i told him i said hey look you have to develop your mentality your body and uh you know that's going to be extremely important but i'll tell you this his his desire to improve his technique is impressive and hopefully that's why you guys are on this channel all right make sure you guys hit me up cornerback pro at gmail.com after the one-on-ones mastery program also if you want me to look at your film on a monthly basis become a member all right so check this out so I don't train like I don't train as a business. All right. So a lot of people say, hey, hey Coach Parson, can you uh, can I can I come train with you? I just got to be in that vibe. Like I'm a vibe guy, man. And, and, and it just has to be the right time. And, and, I'm, and I am busy, but I make time for what I want to do. So if guys do want to train me, I usually train guys. I've been training guys for free, but my time is very precious to me. So. It's going to cost cats now. All right. That guy's flying all over the country to see me now. So you just, you know, you're going to have to really want it. You're going to have to get that job on the weekend. You're going to have to do, your, your parents going to have to invest in you. It's just, it is what it is. All right. So in this clip, I'm going to show you two clips of the young fellas. It's going to be the kick step press man. Kick step. So press man. All right. You know, there's some, there's some basics. There's some principles, right? Like one principle to press man, no matter what technique you use, it's eyes first. So you gotta have your eyes in the right place. Then it's your feet. That means you gotta have a plan and or some technique that you gotta have with your feet. You gotta know, I know when the receiver lines up on the line of scrimmage, I know what technique I'm gonna use because I look at his alignment. I look his down and distance or is who I'm going against. All of that, I calculate that all in my mind before I even come to the line. And guess what? I know what I'm going to do. I have a technique in my mind. I have a plan with my feet. So it's eyes, feet, and then hands. How do you strike? Right? Is my thumb up? Like we go over this. So it's eyes, feet, hands. What am I doing? You know, so the point is there's some underlying principles. Then you have a plethora of different techniques. You get it? Now, You'll be surprised how many guys go up to the line in the NFL. So pro ball, college ball, high school, and they don't even have a technique in mind. They're just reacting to what the receiver is doing. You got to have a technique. That's when you get on your heels, your eyes come up, you know, you, you jump, you hop in. So you got to have a technique, and it takes time for you to improve this. All right, so let's go over this. I'm going to show you this kick step technique that I'm training my young fellas. All right, let's go over it again. There you go. All right, so what he's doing, let me mute this. All right, so what he's doing is outside. So the ball is inside. We're just, you know, using our imagination. The ball is inside. He's playing left corner, and looks like he did an outside kick step. Outside. So he's, oh, okay, right, this is what he's doing. Now I see his alignment. So let's look at his alignment. He's inside shade. Oops, I made it do that. So he's in. All right. So this is like the Legion of Boom. This is what uh the the cornerback coach out there in uh, Seattle back in the uh Richard Sherman days where they were dominate everybody. A lot of times they would show their presence inside, so they would line up inside shade. Now remember, you don't want it. No matter if you out you shade outside or inside. You cannot say too far. So the way that I teach, and, and I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I'm not saying my way is the, the I'm not even saying my way is the way. So I, I hope like coaches aren't don't get offended. Like, hey, look, if that's your way, that's your way. You know what I'm saying? This is my way that happens to work. I, tr I turn dudes who are incredibly, I'm not talking about a young fellow right here. Cause I've been doing this for years. He's still young. Uh, Shoot, I put, I was like one of the first cornerback dudes to put information on the cornerback back in 2006 when YouTube just came out and filmed. So I've been doing this for a while, guys. 
um, I had cornerback pro. That was, but anyways, what I'm saying is this way I turned really sorry dudes into really good cornerbacks, like pro, like guys have gone to the NFL. You feel me? So all I'm saying is this is my way, and it just happens to work. So you don't want to shade when you align. You know your technique. You know what you're gonna do. You got the technique in mind. If you shade too far inside, then you're gonna be. If he does an outside release, you're gonna be forced to open the gate. That's when you completely turn. You just running next to guys, right? So you got to be mindful. The way I teach it is, I I split his, I split his eye. So if I'm inside shade, I split his eye. Or you can see like how his is basically in the middle of his feet. So he's shading inside. So he's not too far inside. Right, he's splitting his feet, or I, I split the eye, the inside eye. Okay, that's how I teach it. And what he's doing is he's showing presence inside, but he's he's showing he's having his foot movement, his kick step outside. Okay, so that was back in the days of the Legion of Boom. That's what they teach. But you can do inside shade, inside kick step. All right, or you can do outside shade, outside kick step. If you think he's gonna do outside release, maybe he has a super tight split. You feel? So, so it just depends on what you're doing. But I, my thing is, I want you to know all the techniques so you can you can have it in your tool belt. Let's go over it again. So, number one, let's watch it again a couple times. Really good lateral movement by him. Again, he focuses on his technique. Outside kick step, good lateral movement. This kid, I'm telling you, this kid can be good. He can be. He he could be really good. Cause he just got a natural. He's he's natural when it comes to this technique stuff. PTE, you know. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's break this thing down. Let's break it down. All right, so we alignment. We're not really focused on split right now. We just literally doing press releases. Okay, we're not even going too hard. When we're when I'm teaching the guys, if you come to me and uh like to you know to train. I go like 25% when I'm teaching them. I'm talking about the receiver. I don't want these guys going off super fast, super hard while you're attempting to learn and get the, the muscle memory of each technique. So this is how we do it. And then we speed up and then we then we go really hard on the uh, one-on-ones and et cetera. All right. So he got his alignment. He said, coach, I'm going to do a inside shake, outside kick step. All right, boom. Boom. You know what you're going to do. It doesn't matter. This dude lined up. You know what you're going to do. All right. All right. Now. Outside kick step. What is kick step? Remember this. The reason why you gotta have a technique or plan with your feet, something kind of, you got your feet has to move because what happens is it's, it's really just a, a subtle kick step, a side kick step. You're not sh stepping all uh, wide right here. It's literally just something to get your feet moving. Okay? It's just something because what happens is if your feet don't move at all, you it's like you're you have these cement blocks on your feet, man. <laughs> and then you let you feel uncomfortable. So that's my thing. Again, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some videos about coaching because I have one of the best coaches in the country. Uh he's down in Duncanville right now. He's one of my best friends. He coached me in high school and we he is brilliant. And we have debates and stuff. And uh Marcus Wilder, Coach Marcus Wilder. And we talk about like he, he challenges me in my technique, and that's actually how I get better. But he's brilliant, and we talk about what's right, what's wrong, and what's not. Neither, you know. But the point is, you gotta have, you gotta have some type of uh, movement with your feet so they don't get blocked, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically froze, frozen into the ground. Because then you'll be reaching. You're not gonna have good feet, foot movement. So that's why you gotta have a plan for feet. So it's just a subtle kick step, just subtle, okay. And then your goal is to move laterally, either one to two shuffles. You're going to stay in front of the dude, right? All right, let's watch it again. So eyes. Now, where are our eyes, guys? I've heard some guys, come coaches say, hey, watch the back foot, all this. Hey, look, or watch the spot on it. Hey, look, if that's what you do as a coach, then go for it. You know, if that works for you, then go for it. Me, what I've learned is the best way to do this from an eye discipline standpoint is to be on the waist. That's why you have young fella right here. The waist can't go anywhere. I don't care. See, look, watch. I want to show you something. Watch this right here. Now, if I were to watch, think about that. If I, and his, his eyes came up. You see that? Oh, man, I want it. So, look, if I were to watch his legs, I mean, he saw that. He saw that little move he did with his legs. 
Cross him a little bit. So, but look at his waist though. Let's go over this. I'm breaking this down, guys. His waist doesn't go anywhere. I don't care. You got receiver factory and all those guys doing all the head moving and all the shoulder stuff. Man, that stuff don't mean nothing to me at press. All right. It don't mean nothing. That waist ain't going nowhere. I don't care how you do, you know. Nah, it's going, it's right here. So, eye discipline. This is something that has to be drilled into your mind. You have to drill this into your habits. It has to be drilled. Your body has to remember. This is what I do. His eyes came up, but I think his eyes came back down. So it's just something we got to work on every day. This is something you work on every day, fellas. You, If you got a girlfriend, you in high school, you got a girlfriend, say, hey, look, let me just get a couple reps. She's going to look at you like you're crazy. You're like, hey, I got to get in. You want me to make this money, right? I got to get this work in. If you're with your mom, say, mom, can you just move here, move there? Work on your eye discipline. That's the first thing in press. If you have bad eyes, show me a person with bad eyes and I'll show you a bad football player. Okay? As simple as it is. Now, let's go to the, the footwork. So, subtle step. And then, you stand in front of them. You're mirroring them. And you're shuffling, shuffling laterally. Beautiful. Oh, man. Good job, young folk. This is how it looks. Kick step. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, he didn't open the gate. He didn't angle off. Got his two shuffles in laterally. Okay. This is what it looks like, fellas. And I got all of these techniques in the one-on-ones mastery program. You can hit me up. It costs, right now, it costs 50 bucks. Okay, just letting you guys know. So, but it has so much, so much stuff in there, man. I really is cheap, to be real. Should charge more. But just to make sure the cats that hit me up serious. All right. Now, let's go. So we got eyes. Ah, this is the kickstep technique. Oh, another thing is this. Learn. I put the names of each technique in there for a purpose. The goal is I'm, tr I'm working on wiring this into your brain. Hardwiring this into your mind so that when you go up to the line, you have the. Oh, like, okay, I got kickstep. If you don't know the names, you're not going to know what to do. So. Why this into your mind? I'm using kickstep technique. Okay, kickstep. And sachet, outside kickstep. You know, it's just something, just boom, natural. You got to make this thing. You got, we got to put this into your subconscious mind, man. That's how it, it needs to be a flow. It needs to be a habit. That's how often you need to do it. And you need to study these terms and names. These are buzzwords, okay? That's what college coaches want to teach. Buzzwords so you can hardwire it into your brain. Okay, kickstep technique. All right, so we got good eyes. Make sure our eyes are better. And then we got kickstep technique. Let's make sure. Uh, I guess I'm going to do the next video with uh, kickstep with him doing it because uh, there's some learning lessons in the next video. I, you know, I, I talked to y'all for days. Right here. <laughs> but look, so we got our foot. We know what we're going to do with our footwork. Good, great lateral movement. Now, one thing young fella can do better and it's arms. So eyes be hands. Now, a good thing is his thumb was up. But you know how it is. It's like the more you do something, the more, ha you know, the confidence you got. So you see his hands, his arms. So when you strike somebody, fellas, yo, you need to extend. Pop. You still see that bend in his arm. And that's just because, it's, you know, again, he's a young fella. He's building his own. So his uh, his self-esteem is growing. You know, his confidence uh, is growing. It's extremely important. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video about how to build that confidence to get to that level. Uh, cause it's, it's something that we all must do. And it's really like being able to, the ability to be, to go inside yourself and it has to come from within. We're going to talk about that in another video. So make sure you guys go to the channel. My, the footage, the, the information is about to take another level, guys. I've taken a, what, two years off before making videos like that. But I'm just so much better as a teacher now than I was before. And I'm ready to make another, uh, 50 to 100 guys in the next, couple years go d1 or go professionally at the highest level so man stay tuned make sure you guys email me at cornerback pro but this is eyes be hands he got a fully strike on it good job on the thumb up but he got a fully strike extend it on pop okay but great job a young fella now we're going to go to my other young fella in the next video kick step kick step kick step technique so you gotta learn this stuff man learn it kick step this is one of the first uh, press man techniques that I learned. All right, guys. Peace.